So why is Tetra Film Studios the film company of the future? Well, to answer this question, we need to answer two other questions. What's the difference between an actor and a character? And what's the difference between an improvisation and a script? All of these terms are vital to filmmaking, but as we try to define them, we quickly find their definitions are very blurry. They fall into each other constantly. Consider, an actor is defined by the characters they play, while a character can only exist through the body of an actor. In a similar light, improvisation is the base for all scripts, while scripts are the base for brilliant improvisations. This gets even more confusing when we add the perspective of the audience. The audience, despite being very important to every film, are the last to know the specifics behind every method happening on screen. You don't know right now whether I'm reading from a script or improvising everything as I go along, whether I'm being myself or acting as a character. Truly, all of these methods are overshadowed by the magic of the screen. This magic is known as intensity, and Tetra Film Studios works tirelessly to bring you intensity. Tetra Film Studios aims to give its actors as high a degree of freedom as possible to express themselves on screen. This begins all the way back in the casting process, where actors and characters are matched to complement each other's abilities. Many scenes are written with specific actors in mind. Now, as actors become more comfortable within their roles, they are encouraged furthermore to improvise dialogue and action as they see fit. Speaking as a Tetra Film Studios actor, it's clear that actors can express themselves in incredible ways the less direction they're given. So, you know how like the place over there is like famous for its parties? Yep. Let me guess, you were, you were there? No, you know me, I don't go to any parties. Do you drink? I've never drunk, I've never done drugs. Wow. Actually, I don't think I've ever done anything like bad, like illegal in this sort of sense when it comes to this stuff. You? No, that's not my thing either. But you're friends with like one of the people that goes out. Crystal? Like, I did I did not say names, but well, that didn't is have who to. I was talking about. Yeah, I'm not worried about her. It's getting cold, come on. So you oh okay. Hello, my name's Jake. Uh, with a big smile. Hello, my name's Jake. Right, one more time. Hi. <laughs> okay, um, hi, I'm Agnes. Uh, in my free time, I like to do a variety of things, uh, mainly sports, I a bit of arts, such as instruments, a lot of academic stuff recently, and I like to visit my girlfriend. In my free time, I... <laughs> a lot of people make fun of me for this. I really like studying and doing schoolwork, but I also really like playing sports like soccer, tennis, and volleyball. And I really like hanging out with friends and my boyfriend. I met Jake on my first day of school. I was new and he came up to me and asked to see my schedule and he saw that I was in his German class and he didn't really quite believe that I spoke German. So yeah, that's how I met Jake. And then he'd show me around, he'd get food with me and our friend group sort of, like I was part of his friend group at first. So yeah, that's how I, that's how I met him. I've been dating for almost two years. It's a very enjoyable time. I always like to be around her. She makes me feel very special. So I mainly know Crystal through school. Uh, we have had a couple of classes together over the last couple of years, sort of seen different sides of her, especially, you know, like lately where there have been a couple of problems with her. I met Crystal in my Spanish class. 
she sat next to me because I was new. She sort of helped me while I was in that new student phase and we had the same teacher. We were always put together, so we did a lot of work together. In Spanish class, we always, we always had just danced the last five minutes of class, so we'd always partner up and do those dances together, so yeah. You can kind of see her progression of how she used to be someone that was rather approachable to someone that you don't really want to talk to nowadays. For Spanish events, we also do the alcohol consumption. 18. You guys want to get fucked up? Fuck yeah! I mean, if you got some. Of course. Es gibt auch viele Drogensüchtige, die vielleicht ein oder zwei Mal Drogen genommen haben und vielleicht auch in einer schlechten Situation sind vom Leben. Einige ich Politiker unterstützen die Idee, Drogensüchtige ins Gefängnis zu schicken. Ja, es ist schon definitiv eine extremere Maßnahme, denke ich. Also das Exit-Programm von Janus oder wie das auch immer heißt, finde ich eigentlich auch nicht schlecht, wo man dort dann das einfach so kontrolliert. Kommt wahrscheinlich darauf an, welche Drogen konsumiert werden, wenn das wirklich was sehr Hartes ist. Ähm aber dass, sie, dass man sie in die Gefängnis hineinsteckt, ja, so einen kalten Zug, ob das etwas wirklich gerade für den Menschen, weiß ich jetzt natürlich nicht. Auf meiner Meinung nach ist das nicht so gut. Ich finde es schon eher sehr radikal. In Portugal zum Beispiel kannst du sogar Heroin legal haben, gerade. Und das Zeug ist viel besser wie da, weil die Leute da Heroin nehmen, das spürt sich auch noch scheiß. Und weil es dort legal ist, gibt es gar weniger Chancen. Mit der Reiz, etwas Illegales zu machen, ist weg. Es kommt auf die Gesellschaft und die Politik und die Leute das wahrnehmen. Also ich wäre eher dafür, es legal zu machen, weil halt, dass sie so vom Staat kontrolliert wird. Wieso ähm, ist, ist Drogen auch besser? Selber, man kriegt sie nicht irgendwo her und man weiß auch ein bisschen mehr, was drin ist, würde ich sagen. What did you think of her when you first met her? Seemed nice, but kind of misleading in a way. How? Uh, like, two-sided. Did she have a really nice personality, but at the same time you kind of got like a, a bad feeling from her. It's not maybe someone you'd want to introduce your parents after knowing them for a longer time because then you'd know the dark side. <laughs> Your hair is pink. <laughs> what are you doing? Just... Crystal, get down. Get down, Crystal. <laughs> get down. Crystal, can no. you please go down? Come on, no. let's get you no. down. Come on, Crystal. No. Oh. Ja, es ist einfach, ich finde es gut, aber sie sollte schon anders schreiben, was es ist, weil es ist genau das gleiche wie Amphetamin. Es ist auch ein Amphetamin, es ist einfach anders gepresst. Es ist in der Pille gepresst statt im Pulver und es ist nicht extrahiert aus Magentabletten, wo der Wirkstoff rausgenommen äh, wird, sondern es ist halt der pure Wirkstoff. Eigentlich ist es sogar noch ein besseres Amphetamin, aber es ist noch äh, mit Zückerli und anderen Zeug gestreckt. Und äh, ich stehe noch auf Amphetamin, weil ich brauche es auch, um zu arbeiten. Und 
Ja, ich habe, äh, wenn ich kein Umfeld habe, gehe ich jetzt zum Psychiater in Tolin und das ist genauso gleich, dass es ein bisschen stärker ist. Mhm. Ähm, man kann es, kann es schon nehmen, aber man muss den Studenten auch sagen, es ist einfach Amphetamin. Das ist nämlich bei den Hitler legal. Denn der Hitler hat früher nicht den Piloten gewusst, dass sie lange wach sind. Und darum ist es in der Medizinbranche immer noch legal. Weil das ist der deutsche Einfluss von der Medizinbranche, wo Meier und alle. Steven, well, Steve for short. We all call him Steve. Very, very funny past. They met at the Rhine. I'm not sure. His parents were out of town for like a business trip or something. And doesn't his dad work for like Novartis and his mom kind of like just tags along? I don't know. Point is, free house. What does this guy do? There was a huge party. We didn't end up going, but I heard that Crystal went. You hear a lot of stuff about it. Not necessarily good stuff in retrospect. Well, what would what's us appear? Be as honest as possible. Uh, rather not. It's just the same people that always do it. It's like the, like the typical like four or five people that kind of abuse it. What are the four or five people? Okay. Well. <laughs> can we bleep them? Yeah, we can bleep them. Well, you have. You have. You have. Or should I actually say? You have. Or you have. How often do they meet up? Like, are they like a friend group or? No. No, <laughs> no. They kind of all hate each other, but they do. when they're all high, they're like, it's hey, like, like buddy. Vibe, you know? When I was walking my dog, I saw them like sleeping. Yeah, at the run. Passed out. I, I like the term sleeping yeah. better. Uh, they were so. High out of their minds. And probably got robbed. They didn't, though. They're really proud of that. They Which is not. kind of surprising. That's epic. That's lucky. Yeah. And the police didn't show up, which is also lucky. First day of school, I got asked whether or not I do drugs or not. I was 15. Then I got invited to a party. They buy vodka. Someone also got a seagull to eat a joint. Then someone burned a Bible. Imagine Crystal burning a Bible. That would be very hypocritical because she used to be very religious. Kind of funny how that turned out. Kind of being a good person all around, doing good deeds, not lying, not talking smack about people behind their back. If you do have a partner, not cheating on them. <coughs> Multiple times. Saying that you're into one type of people, but then cheating on the, them with the other type. Yeah, not being able to own up to it. Not being able to confront your own feelings and your own problems. Not admitting that you might have screwed up once in a while. Probably a lot of financial issues over time. What happened at that party? Crystal got drunk and high. Then after the accident, she ran away. She did still have her microphone on her, which was kind of lucky. She popped up uh, while we were trying to take a shoot, um, where I was driving around in my car after having done some errands. And we did hear like a loud noise coming from somewhere, but we were in a parking lot, so we tried to find it. It was kind of hard because everything just echoed off. So we were like, hey, that was 10 minutes ago. We'll just continue with the shoot. It maybe it was just some sort of noise. Pop in the car, try to do the shot. Out of nowhere, she kind of just runs right in front of the car. <laughs> Crystal? <laughs> What's going on? Where am I? You're in Basel. No. <laughs> Answer me, what's going on? Jake. What's happening? Why are you covered in blood? I wasn't going too fast, but, so I slammed the brakes. Luckily, did not actually hit her with the car. However, then she did collapse. Uh, the crew was <laughs> rather shaken. We had to take care of her first because she was hyperventilating, she was in shock. Oh no, <laughs> whenever I close my eyes, everything flushes. She didn't really know where she was because she was obviously high and drunk. Try to make sure she was safe. Try to get her some water to sober up at least a tiny bit. Yeah, so when we weren't looking, she she made a run for it. Apparently she was like freaking Usain Bolt. She was so fast. She yeah, was she ran away. She ran away. So we tried to catch her, but obviously 
catching someone when they have a head start and are still a pretty fast runner. They're so fast. It's <laughs> so kind of hard. Fast. After she ran away from the party, I was, <laughs> I was literally like still answering my questions about the movie like I always do. And then we got a call saying, "Hey, like something happened with Crystal. We're gonna have to ask you guys to help us book, not only for her because we, were, we weren't really told what was wrong, but we were told that she was under the influence. So, so that was sort of the priority to find her. Well, after I got a call from Jake's crew, we we really looked for her like the entire night. We did not give up. We went absolutely everywhere." Even though it was freezing, we went absolutely everywhere for hours on end, but then... We're at about morning time. We decided it was best to get the police involved just because it's a safety matter too. Mm -hmm. We were both exhausted though, it was so late. Yeah, because like the whole day before we were already shooting. Yeah. After we contacted the police, we were still searching. <laughs> Crystal, 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 what are you doing? No, Crystal, we're not gonna do that. What are you doing? No. No, get down. Come on. No, Crystal. What are you doing? Oh. Hi, Agnes. What are you doing here? I'm just coming back from the movie theater. Why are you hugging a tree? Oh, I just, uh, oh, I just really like trees. Um, I was just at a party at Alexis's house. So, what are you doing here? I already told you. Yeah, that's, that's... You okay? Yeah, I'm... Fine. You're shaking. <laughs> I'm good. No, like you're shaking, shaking. And you can't even stand straight. Oh, jeez. Okay. okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, we're right. Okay. Right. okay. Just breathe, <laughs> Crystal. What are you doing? Crystal, <laughs> stop. Crystal, Crystal, what the? Crystal, what are you doing? Crystal, calm down. Crystal, what is going on? Crystal, do you want to sit down? Okay, okay. Okay, let's lean against the tree. Come on. You got this. Okay, lean against it. Okay, deep breath. Deep breath. You got this. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, keep breathing. You got this. Keep breathing. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Careful, you're gonna fall. Careful. Careful, careful. No, careful. What is going on? Can I call anyone for you? No. I I came, I came from the party and now I think I took something, I don't, I don't know. Do you remember what it looked like? Do you remember what it tasted like? Anything? No, no but the buildings, the buildings keep coming at me. I can't, it's fine. Okay, keep breathing. There's blood, there's blood everywhere and I, Blood? I from your blood? Okay, um, you said, you said Alexis's party, right? Do you remember who else was there? No, but, no, I can't, I can't tell you, they, they, they might find out, I can't, I can't. No, it's okay, it's okay, it's gonna be okay, it's okay. Crystal, Crystal, stay with me, Crystal, Crystal, turn to the side. Stay, stay with me, stay with me. Crystal, Crystal. You okay? Crystal, breathe, if you can. After we contacted the police, we were still searching. Found her near a construction site at the Rhine, which was at the, um, the highway bridge, which was the place we least expected her to be. Try to go up to her, try to help her. I told you about this, she had like another mental breakdown. Did she scream at you? Yes. <laughs> Repeatedly. Um, however, then we kind of got her to calm down, kind of got her to cooperate. So then at least we found her.
Crystal? <laughs> crystal, Crystal, Crystal. Please come down, Crystal, please. Are you okay? <laughs> should, should I take you home? <laughs> I can't. I need help. I think I'm over. Just please help me. Do you need an ambulance? <laughs> no, no. I can't. I can't. So when the ambulance arrived, it was sort of like a really gray area because obviously she didn't remember what she took or anything of that sort. So thankfully the camera crew was there to like help her out and make sure she said what had happened. Whoa, lie back down, you passed out. Where am I? You're safe. May I ask you where all the blood came from? Uh, uh, I don't know. Um, but what happened to me? Will I be taken to the hospital? You will in a minute. Just stay calm and relax. Police are on their way to ask you a few questions and then we'll bring you to the hospital. Is that okay? No. Ma'am, we just need to make sure that you're okay. Can you tell me how you got here? Um, I don't know. I... I think I was out with friends. I think I, I drank too much. I don't, I'm not too sure. Okay, can you tell me what you drank? A uh, beer, vodka, I don't know. So you didn't take anything other than alcohol. It's okay to tell me. You won't get in trouble for whatever drugs you took. We just need to know. So tell me, what did you take? I said I didn't take anything. I didn't. I didn't. What? I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. And you're absolutely sure? Yes. Okay, just wait here. I'll be back soon. <laughs> While the paramedics were distracted, she, she just, she was gone. Again, she was able to drive off with my car. With at least a Tesla, you don't need a key. You just need the phone in there, and because yes. I didn't have my phone with me, I just ran away. Crystal has been taking driving lessons for a while, so. She literally just took my car, even though she was still under the influence She's and just. Driving under the influence is one of the most dangerous things you can do. Because you don't just endanger yourself, you endanger the people around you. Yeah, so then the police just went after her. They were like, we're done, we're chasing her down. Yeah. Which was useful. <laughs> I still don't get why, but she she sort of just stopped in town. Like she didn't even park the car. She just stopped it. We weren't there, but like that's what we've been told. Yeah, like exactly. she has her own camera crew, so they were trying to trying to get their side of the documentary done. And then what happened? What happened to her? Well, she was caught by the police. They took her to a hospital, and now they're trying to help her. So she's going to rehab and trying to trying to get her off the drugs. Yeah, long road ahead. How did you hear about the party? Yeah, Everyone Instagram, was about like it. Snapchat, yeah, posting, posts. people posting. Like just the, the general stuff. I think they meant to post half of it, but like. When you're drunk, you don't really know what to post. Maybe don't know what button to click. What sort of? Drugs? If you'd probably ask one of them, they'd be like, drugs and alcohol. Don't remember the rest. Who usually brings? Crystal. 